Hello, family. How is everybody doing? I hope we are all great. Thank you very much for checking me out. If this is your first time of checking my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Fast forward, I know you may have heard of the Wakanda One City of Return project. Yes, um, last year, last two years, we were talking about it. And this is due to, you know, the invitation by the president of Ghana, inviting all diasporans to come home, connect with the brothers on the motherland to start something, partner and do a lot. Oh, hello, family. How is everybody doing? I hope we're all doing great. Thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can get on Patreon to support my channel. Whatever amount that you can support me with, just get on Patreon, be a subscriber, and let's help build this channel together. I know you may have heard of the Wakanda One City of Return. Yes, uh, put it up as a comment. Let me know where you heard it from. Was it from my channel or any other source? Please put it up as a comment. Definitely, you may also know of the Wakanda One City of Return Trade Expo organized by ADDI, championed by Dr. Arikana Chambori Kwao. Yeah, so ADDI, African Diaspora Development Institute, is organizing an expo here in my city, Cape Coast. I told you that my city is, you know, getting up on the map. Yes, beautiful. So this project is basically to bridge Africans from the diaspora to Africans and the motherland to trade share ideas build partnerships and businesses yeah so this project started on the 2nd of december and it's going to end on the 13th of december now it's happening here in cape coast on monday there was the opening ceremony and the whole place was full beautiful people shout out to those of you who recognize me from my youtube like hey go here i'm like yeah so in attendance at the opening ceremony is dr rikana herself uh, P L O Lumumba. There was Carlos Moore. There was the Chiefs. There was the Queen Mothers, and a lo whole lot of people. So I'm gonna update you on whatever is gonna happen throughout the event. The video is very lengthy, so I'm gonna you know divide it into speech by speech by the beautiful people who attended and moderated this whole project. So thank you very much for checking me out. Come back to watch other videos that are made from Wakanda One City of Return Trade Expo. Ciao. That our children are demanding the meaningful conversations that are going to wake us up, the meaningful conversations that are going to do the damage that has been done to our psyche, to our brains. We must wake up. It is just that simple. We must say no to continued exploitation. We must say no to feeling inferior for no good reason except that they told us so. The conversation must take place on every inch of soil on this beloved continent. Too many of us are still fast asleep. And until each and every one of us has a serious conversation with the image in the mirror, nothing, and I mean nothing that we do is going to change. Grab a gene, grab a gun. You go to that broken table with a colonized mind, grab a gene, grab a gun. Right. Because then you are seeing for Africa today is a colonized African. Because that is the African that is still going to be used as an instrument of our own self-destruction. They come from the World Bank looking like you and I, dishing out bad policies for the continent. Why? Because the man is still in the gun. They come from so many other international organizations. Instead of speaking truth to power and sharing what they know to make sure that our continent is going in the right direction, they choose to serve the wrong master. And if you do to the African, we must let them know that we will stand up and we will unite and we will push back. That's all we have to do. Push back. Stand up and push back. Sister Arikana and all those who have assembled here under the aegis of ADDI, permit me to congratulate you because what you have done is indicative of the deep-seated desire to liberate Africa from the chains of sorrow and one. And the choice of Ghana is as emblematic as it is symbolic. And in many ways you are happy 
for a big storm that is coming to this part of the world. And Ghana, if you permit me, plays a critical part in the history of Africa. And I believe that the choice of Ghana was deliberate for that reason. When Ghana, on the sixth day of March 1957, became the first country to begin our continuing battle of exercising the ghost of the castle of Berlin, mm. the founding father of independent Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, said mm. that until the rest of Africa is free, the independence of Ghana means nothing. Right. And I dare say that that gives meaning to the statement that we must be helped to fight our oppressors with all our mind and might. Yes. And we are assembled here to give meaning to those words. The history of the economic regeneration of Africa is not a new one. It has always sat in the inner recesses of the hearts and minds of our forebears. When Marcus Garvey, those many years, founded the Black Star and told Africans to go back to Africa, he was remembering the need to come back home. He discovered that when you go out there and you imagine that the grass is green on the other side, the truth is that it's green on the other side because it's because it has been watered. Oh. And we too are now saying that the grass on this side can't be greener, but we must water it. We have come here and our headquarters in ADDI and in NDADDI we have water in it. And we want to water this grass on this side that it may become green. We all need to understand that right now, as we speak, the most educated black person on the planet is the African American. We all need to understand that the African American economy, as we speak, is the ninth biggest economy in the world. We have our brothers and sisters. The guys were doing amazing things. When my brother Carlos was talking, I was moved to tears. If you have all this potency, if you have all this people, and then we are not courting them properly to come back up to help us utilize the amazing natural resources we have here, the human resources we have here, then we are not doing something right. So I'm very, very happy this has happened. And so the culture sector, we're going to focus on cultural heritage preservation, projects that will allow our kings to tell and document the story of his community, our chiefs to tell and document the story of their community, our brothers and sisters on the continent as well as in the diaspora to document and tell your story, because if you don't, somebody else will tell that story about you, and it probably will not be the true story. So that's one of the goals, and we also want to make sure that we wrap around all of this, the cultural heritage preservation, the economic development, the cultural tourism, the, 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 the village museums, <laughs> I've been talking about this forever. So anyway, we're here to support the upliftment of culture, the documentation of culture, the preservation of culture, and telling the stories of Africa and the African diaspora. Because as we come together, we really need to know each other. My name is Princess Dr. Ruth. I am born in Nigeria. And I'm, I'm an African. Her Excellency, thank you for this opportunity. Just like Dr. Kazila just said, we are here to transform healthcare in Africa. Our nurses are leaving the continent of Africa every day for million persons. We have to stop that. We have to create a healthcare system where a mother, a pregnant woman will go to the hospital and come back with their baby alive, healthy and healthy. We have to create an environment that our 
communities will have a very good experience when they come back safe and happy. And that is what we're here to do. And we cannot do it alone. We're going to do it together. It is with immense pleasure that I stand before you today on behalf of the National Bar Association, where I serve as the 79th president. I bring you greetings from Jackson, Mississippi, and the United States of America, and I bring you greetings from each of the 67,000 black lawyers and judges that I have the privilege of leading as the president of the National Bar Association. We're so privileged to be with you on today. It's my distinguished honor and privilege to deliver these remarks. First, I wish to thank Her Excellency, Dr. Shahambari Foy, for birthing the African Diaspora Development Institute and the entire team for, organi for organizing the home of the Wakanda One City Return and Trade Expo. Congratulations, job well done. Thank you, program participants from across the globe. To our illustrious speakers and our moderator, also thank you. As you know, ADDI was founded with the mission of being the bridge between the African diaspora and the African continent. More specifically, ADDI was born out of the desire to bring Africa to the world and the world to Africa. Countless African diaspora and friends of Africa are keen to engage in commerce in Africa but face challenges navigating the complexity of international business. The United Nations, through a revolution, has declared 2015 to 2014 the International Decade for People of African Descent. The second pillar of the International Decade is justice. Yes. Justice is that second pillar. We, the children of Africa, must take what is rightfully ours to ensure justice is served. Thurgood Marshall, the first black Supreme Court justice in America, once said, the legal system can force open doors, sometimes even knock down walls, but it cannot build bridges. That job belongs to you and me. Your country can't do it. Afro and white, rich and poor, educated and illiterate, our fates are bound together. And so in addition to the fact that we are going to be starting with the Wakanda One City of Return, the OKC University of Excellence, the higher education sector is about additional things as well. We will be working on policy. We will be working on publishing. We will be working on lectures. We will be working on a number of things, including student exchange programs and opportunities to bring students to the continent and vice versa, so that we learn about each other and break down these barriers of ignorance about one another that have been deliberately cultivated throughout the years of colonization to keep us divided. Good speech later on to introduce to you what we call Africa CAD. So what we initiated uh, from the beginning, when I met Her Excellency, I told her, I'm an African, but I was born in, in, in Rwanda. All is about actions. When I saw my people perishing because we failed to act, the genocide in Rwanda. Therefore, if I had to join APDI, we have to be an organization of actions. We need to support our brothers from the diaspora who have made their mind coming to support us. We are discussing some few things, some time within the day. And we said we have other foreigners coming in with the money. We best see it. Why are they doing that? It means there's something we have not seen. That's right. And this is our nation. The continent is ours. So if you have the resources, if you have the tech aloha, you have this big dreams around here to develop our own country. It is about time as Ghanaians to give them the opportunity to come and develop their own country. I represent also the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, which I believe 
should have been a key partner in what is happening here. We have talked behind the scenes and we have decided that going forward, we are going to be a strong supporter of this initiative. I was here last night and I saw the people. I saw our sisters and brothers and I was like, wow, this is a huge thing. I had no clue what this whole thing was about. And I started talking to other people. I got to understand what the program is about. And I said, it's bigger than I thought. This is a huge thing. I mean, I should have been here on day one, supporting. So we, our apologies, we are going to be part of this initiative all the way. Yeah. The new Africa is going to be different. It requires us to sacrifice a little bit, sometimes more, a lot more than other people, serve and conditional. And to, to, to extract, to extract our wealth that we had in diaspora, to bring it here and start watering that grass. Professor Lumba spoke about so that we be greener on this side. We're going to be agitated government through diplomatic discussions until they hear our current call to access. Because after we won, we beat all over the world and we like what we see. Why did we have it here? There's a sewer system as we did that. With the world, people that we did that. We have the money. The diaspora here commands a lot of wealth. So that's from Ghana. I think today is very historic. And we are writing history. All of us are here, and in future, have something to tell the world. Now, we met here through Wakanda Expo, and a lot of issues were raised, and there are new developments and new Africa. We need to support our brothers from the diaspora who have made their mind coming to support us. We are discussing some few things some time within the day. And we said we have other foreigners coming in with us here. Why are they doing that? It means there's something we have not seen. And this is our nation. The continent is ours. So if you have the resources, if you have the tech and know how, we have this big around here to develop our own country. It is about time as Ghanaians to give them the opportunity to come and develop their own country. You will not have it better than do it yourself. So today I welcome you all and say that we are very grateful to have you here, Professor, the Excellency, and the entire team from Wakanda. I don't know, with all due respect, for giving us the opportunity, some land also to develop here means that they are really welcome. For us as Chamber, our motto is your business links our business. So as long as you are coming with businesses, you are at home. We'll give you all the direction, all the support needed, what is expected of you for you to feel home. And on that note, I want to thank you all for making time to be with us. God bless us.